surprising to hear that even of recent he just launched a second phase of anti-terrorism in Kogi State. For the sake of context, the National Democratic Front urges Nigerians to note that the past PDP governments made Kogi State into a fertile soil for growing operational cells of Boko Haram and Iswa. We are all witnesses to how the suspects linked to the Owo massacre of church worshippers earlier in the year in Ondo State were all traced back to Kogi State. To make it more complex, we recently, just a few days ago, had uh, uh, Akoti, the woman, stating that because those people were arrested in Kogi State, that they should hold Governor Yahya Bello responsible for that massacre. It is now surprising that somebody else will come in another motion to say that because he has launched an attack against the oppressors of the society as somebody who is also hiding behind them. Our law enforcement agents can attest to the number of terrorist cells they have dismantled in Kogi State in collaboration with the Yahya Bello led state government. What this tells us is that the PDP has been the party using terrorist cells to oppress the citizens of the state, to assassinate political rivals, and to export these terrorists to other states where they are desperate to unseat the governors. It is consequent, consequently glaring that the PDP in Kogi State is working to regrow the terrorist network, ostensibly to rearm and deploy them for rigging the 2023 general elections. And we shall not tolerate that, and we shall not contain that. Otherwise, how can a political party that claims to have the interests of the people at heart be advocating for the state government not to clamp down on terrorists? That's a question that everybody, every Nigerian and even the international community should come close to assessing. It is now clear that Kogi, PDP, and Boko Haram or ISWAP terrorists are inseparable Swami's twins. The alarm they raise about the governor being an enabler of political violence is a smooth screen to conceal the true extent of damage they have done in the state and by extension all over Nigeria in their bid to return to power, ostensibly for the sole aim of looting the state. Kogi State has been cleared on financial status as a cleaner state with a clean slate above other states. It is for this that they came up with the laughable allegation that Governor Yahabelo wants to instigate a crisis. If fighting insecurity is instigation of crisis, then let all governors across the country fight in the same manner. We challenge the Kogi State PDP chapter to disprove the laudable, the many laudable projects that Governor Yahabelo's numerous efforts at peace building and establishing democracy has manifested. The records are there to show how much his administration has spent on ensuring security. 